got back just in time for my headphones to tell me they were uh, about to shut down. Cool. All right. <clears throat> what? Came out of the pause and into a fight. Well, that seems stupid. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention! Not like this, Akiyama! Not like this! Are you going to try to bike me? No, sir. I do the biking around these parts. Ooh. That one looks grisly. Super resin. That must be a crafting material. Anyways. I imagine before I can talk to Miki, this is going to trigger the story cutscene. Actually, I imagine that guy in the white's gonna fight me. Nope. No, he's not. Mr. Akiyama, this is Tanuma from Elise. Lily just went home and I finished tallying her sales for today. Great, thanks. Let's hear it. 500,000 yen in sales, that's amazing considering it's her first day. Definitely not bad, but she'll have to step it up if she wants to pass my test. True. Has it ever occurred to you that we're psychotic, Mr. Akiyama? Why don't you come by the club and check in on her during her next shift? I'll do that. Okay, see you then. I came all the way out here to take a phone call. Cool. Oh, sorry I'm late. Nice work today. Getting used to it? Yes, but... But what? I'm anxious about how much I made today. Would you like to hear? Really? Yes, please. All right, here goes. Ten dollars. Five hundred thousand yen. That's right. Hmm? Why the sad face? No, I know that's a lot, but that leaves two and a half million to go in two days. Don't worry. You had to get used to the place today. And you didn't have a full shift, either. Right. No, really. You'll be fine. I know you can do it. I promise. <laughs> Something funny? You're a very interesting man, Mr. Akiyama. Oh, yeah? You say this is a test, but then you reassure me and say it's going to be fine. What's wrong with that? After all, it's not like I want you to fail. Don't you? Of course not. I want to lend you that money, if at all possible. It may be a test, but I'm rooting for you from the bottom of my heart. Mr. Akiyama. Hard eyes. Hard eyes. Plus, I know you're not going to give up easily, especially with a hundred million on the line. Yes, you're right. I can do this. You'll see. Just try not to stress out about it. Staying relaxed is half the battle. Oh, is that? Finally! 
Uh, I always knew knowing was half the battle, but I'm glad to finally know what the other half is. That's awesome. Now let's just enjoy our date. Anywhere special you'd like to go. Do you mind if I ask why you're being so nice? Well, you're kind of hot. Because I think you're worth it, that's all. But this isn't still part of the test, is it? Maybe not exactly, but... But hey, remember what I said about going on a date earlier today? I'm pretty sure that's still in effect. Hmm, that's kind of a stretch. Ouch, just keep me company for a while, okay? Now that that's settled, where do you want to go? You pick the destination. Destination, huh? Anywhere you want. Of course, if there's nowhere in particular, that's fine too. I'll just pick a spot I know. Oh, well, in that case, there is somewhere I'd like to go. You really don't mind? Of course not. Oh, please take him to the host club. The place over in Champion District. I think I'll recognize it once we're there. Yeah? All right, then. Let's go. Oh, I have a, I have a sidekick now. Hey there, homeless guy. Thanks for getting me that booze. I got your back no matter what happens. Oh, I thought he had something else to say to me. Um, I guess I can't find Miki while I've got, uh, what's her name in tow, huh? That's fine. Let's go to Champion Square. Right, what was the rest of the sub story with Miki, anyways? Let me just double check that. Yeah, she probably is not in here until I get done with this. Um, where am I headed? Other side of town. Come on, Lily! Come on! I will hit you with this bike! Oh. Oh my god, will Lily help me? Oh! Kick that guy so hard he sold like Kofi. Thank you for the money. And where were you, miss? Oh. You wanted us to go to this dingy alleyway? Is it around here? I think so. It's just... This building wasn't here before. Really? It's been here for quite a while. Do you mind if we take a quick look in here? Oh, uh, sure. You're probably going to murder me, aren't you? thought I recognized this place. Wow, this brings back memories. Yeah? It was one of the taller buildings back then. It really stood out. But with so many taller ones now, it seems so small. Did you come around here a lot? Lived here, actually. But that was ages ago. Hmm. Those were the days. Always broke and living in a tiny apartment. But life was good. Hmm. 
Tell me something. Why are men always so busy looking up? I'm sorry. They work themselves to death for that one big break and they end up forgetting the girl by their side. I suppose a guy in my line of work is probably biased, but... Whether it's family or the one you love, it's tough to make anyone happy without money. Us men tend to take that responsibility pretty seriously. That's why we're all desperate to claw our way up to someplace stable. At least, that's my theory. I'd be fine without all that. If things would have just stayed the same, I would have been more than happy. But you still came to me, didn't you? Looking for a loan? <laughs> Strange, isn't it? I never really cared about money, and now I end up needing so much. Life is strange. Why does money make the world go round? Why indeed? どうしてよけなかったの でも<笑><笑> あんたらもう懲りないね。なんだと。ああ。なめた口聞いてんじゃねえぞ。柴田のことを分かってて喧嘩売ろってのか。おい、どうだ。柴田組のことならよく知ってますよ。東上会の直系って肩書き振りかざ
I was hoping I'd have like a heat finish, but instead I just shot the guy in the face. Two in the head. No, they're dead. Let's go. Phew. We should be safe here. Sorry you got dragged into that. I've kind of gotten wrapped up in something lately. I'd like to get you wrapped up in something, though. I mean... No. Hey, are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Much as I hate to say it, we should probably call it a night. I'd hate to run into more of them. You're probably right. Well... Give it your best shot tomorrow. I'll stop by to check on and check in on you if I can. All right. Word good, flow mouth not. Oh. A hard save, you say? The game is forcing the save hype. Chapter 4, The Promise. So that's why the Shibata family's been on this. Yeah. What about you? Any leads on where Arise at? None yet. I see. Tojo HQ has the entire organization looking for him. Only a matter of time before they find him. They'll serve him up to those Uno bastards on a platter if we don't do something. Yeah, things are pretty grim. I can't just sit here on my ass and wait. I gotta go find him. At least before headquarters does. I gotta know the truth. I mean... He'd never do shit like this without a reason. Listen, Kido, even if Arai has a good reason, how do you plan on explaining it to the Tojo Clan Brass? What do you mean? Remember, their relationship with the Uenose has gone south. But everything gets swept under the rug if they hand over Arai. Doesn't matter to the Tojo Clan why Arai did what he did, or even if he did it. So what, he gets to be their scapegoat? Pretty much. But he... Arise a smart guy. He knows this isn't about whether or not he can prove his innocence. That's why he's gone into hiding. So then what do we do? We give them a loan. Oh, sorry, no, take it. Huh? What's that for? This is the only way I can help now. Find a ride before the Tojo clan or police do. We can worry about the rest then. But, consider this your war chest for tracking him down. I've got other work to do, and you're the only person I can count on. Akiyama, why are you doing this? Let's just say it's an investment, because a is worth it. What's the connection between you two anyway? Does it really matter? Yeah, it does matter. I'm looking for a ride to get some answers. And I'm not going to take this cash to you. Tell me what you're up to. Ugh. I'm trying to convince this hostess to beg me. I mean, please, I need to know. Fine. Fine. <laughs> アライさんに助けられたことがあったんだわ。え、秋山さんがアライの兄貴に。ああ。ところでお前、俺が昔ホームレスだったって話は知ってるか？ 
えー、まあ噂程度に聞いたくらいですが本当だったんですか実際俺ホームレスになる前な東都銀行通銀行で働く普通のサラリーマンだったんだえ秋山さんが銀行員ああ今から5年くらい前の話だくくらい前までの俺の人生は綺麗な階段を汗一つかかずに登るような順調なものだった東都大の法学部を卒業東都銀行に入社俺は金融工学のプロフェッショナルとしてエリート街道を歩み始めたじゃあどうしてホームレスなんかにクビになったんだよ2005年の初めになクビなんかやらかしたんですか業務上横領つまり会社の金をこっそり盗む犯罪だえどうしてそんなことを知らねえよだって俺は横領なんかしてねえんだからさはどういうことですかはめられたんだよ会社にないきなり業務上横領の疑いをかけられて懲戒免職ってやつだそんなバカなまあ普通そう思うわな俺も何かの間違いだと思ってただが現実は違った俺が当時担当していたとある会社の口座にあった100万円がある日突然俺の個人口座に振り込まれていたんだそれでクビですかああ何を言っても無駄だった銀行は俺を告訴しないことを条件に一方的に俺を懲戒免職処分としたその後俺は真相を探ったそれまでに貯めた金を使い方々手を尽くして調べ回ったでも結局分からずじまいそのうち貯金も尽きてカムロ町で路上生活を始めたんだそれでホームレスですか金なんて簡単に増やせるって思ってたのにな元手と信用がなければ何にもできないんだよ所詮俺は他人の金で遊んでいただけだったんだってその時初めて分かったんだじゃあどうやって金貸しなんてやれるほどの大金手に入れたんですか拾ったんだよはだからさお金が降ってきたのそれからパーッとそれを拾ったのさいやいやいやいや本当だって知らないミレニアムタワーで爆発があってさそこから大量の札束が降ってきた事件あ知ってますえじゃあ秋山さんはその金をそうだいたい100万くらいだったから死に物狂いで拾い集めたよこの金さえあれば俺はもう一度人生をやり直せるってなななんんんんんんかかか運がいいいだか悪いんだか分かんねえ感じですね<笑>まあなだがその時の俺にとってその100万円は命と同じくらい大切な金だっただがそんな大事な金をこともあろうに俺は盗まれちまったんだ路上で寝ている隙にな誰にですか町のゴロツキさあの頃からこの町じゃホームレス狩りとか言って路上で寝ているホームレスを襲うような遊びが流行っていたからな待ってくださいそれじゃあもしかしてその時に秋山さんを助けたのがそう新井さんだ当時新井さんは金村工業に入ったばかりのチンピラだったそのチンピラが俺から金を盗んだ連中から金を取り上げホームレスの俺にわざわざ届けてくれたんだどうしてそんなことを新井さんは涙を流して喜ぶ俺に言ったよ俺がこの町を変えてみせますって兄貴俺はその時誓ったんだもし俺がこの100万円でのし上がれた時はこの人にかけてみようってかけるああこの人なら神室町って猿山のボスになれるかもしれないって思ったんだ神室町ってのは弱いやつから強いやつまでいろんな連中が集まってくるいわば一つの群れみてえな場所だだが集まってくるやつらには一つだけ共通してることがある何ですか夢だよカムロ町に飛び込んだ人間は皆必ず夢を見てる夢いい女を抱きたい金持ちになりたいえばりたい
どんなチンケなもんであってもここに集まる連中にはみなそれぞれの夢があるだがその夢を叶えられるやつはごくわずかだそして人は夢を諦めない生きていくのに必要なもんだからさわかるかはいみな夢を見続けていたいだからこそこの町では人に夢を見せられる人間が求められているんだそれが新井の兄貴だとああ良くも悪くも人間ってのは強さに憧れる新井さんにはその絶対的な強さがある俺はそう思ってんだボスがいない猿山は機能しないこの町は今強いボス猿が必要なんだカムロショってわしは今までずっとそのボス猿を極道に求めてきただが桐生一馬というカリスマが去った今ボス猿となれる人間はいない機能しなくなった町から猿は去っていってしまう強いボス猿を求めてななんか深い話っすねまあちょっと回りくどい言い方だったが要はそれくらい俺は新井さんにかけているってことだわかりました俺秋山さんの夢のためにも新井の兄貴を必ず見つけますこのお金はありがたく使わせていただきますお何か分かったら俺に連絡してくれはいただいまあ伊藤さんあどうもすちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと All right, so I head to Marimba. That's what you said three days ago. Then you went and blew it off, just like you always do. Did I? Well, I guess I'd better take another crack at that now, then. Just please actually go this time. Yes, ma'am. Head to Marimba. Miss Jackyama, this is Tanuma from Elias. Hi, Tanuma. What's up? Lily showed up for work. If you could spare some time, you should come give her some pointers. Right. Okay. Be there in a bit. Great. We'll see you soon. Hannah's not going to like this, but I better go pop by Elise just for a minute. Most importantly, let's go tackle that crazy woman in Theater Square who stole my money. Bitch better have my money. Someone just said they were angry? Eh. Top sure I was gonna get attacked. Boy, you sure are lucky. After all, you met me. So, how about a little drinking money for your pal here? Hand over your wallet. Oh. Thanks, homeless guy. Oh my god, what was in that pillow? Is 
that a bowling ball? Oh, damn it. I give up. I shouldn't have picked that fight. Take this. Cut me some slack. Shard of bulletproof glass. Oh my god, I can almost make my weird, uh, stuff. Since I don't have access to the crafting system yet, so, you know. Okay, I can't almost make it, but I have a piece. Is the theater district just way bigger than I remember? Theater Square. Yeah, this is Theater Square right here. Oh, Theater Square Northwest. Theater Alley. Let's try running down to the alley. Oh. I'd love to beat your ass. No, no, I, I said, Oh, yeah, sir. Now, come here. Twenty thousand? Why are you mugging people? find Mickey out here so maybe she's on the rooftops I need to go up there and get the locker key I missed anyways oh hello Guile I forgot you were up here. Do you have anything to say to me? Sure. Alright, we are going to do some mock combat. Fight me, as you would in a real fight. If you win, you pass. But this isn't sparring, it's a fight. I'll be using a machine gun to simulate the danger of true warfare. It's a fake machine gun for training purposes. It'll hurt like hell if you get hit, but you won't die. Wait a second here. Enough. Don't be such a wimp. Just do it already. Easy for you to say you've got the gun. Oh no. Mistakes were made. Let's start. At least he's like right by me. I can probably just. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Ha! Ah, I played enough Dark Souls to know how this works. Oh god! Oh, should have played more Dark Souls! Oh, I should not have put him in a corner. Oh, I can't use any of my weapons I got. There are certain heat actions that will grow into bigger, stronger moves the more you use them. Check the ability screens to find out which ones have growth potential. Oh my god! <laughs> Great! You pass. I have no face anymore. <laughs> Watching you reminds me of that day when Bison came to my village. I obliterated the enemy's secret bipedal war robot by punching it to death? I'm actually more interested in the fact that weaponized walking robots actually exist. I feel like you're a reference to something that I'm not getting, Saigo. I may have gotten a bit stronger, but I don't feel any new moves coming on. The best training takes place on the battlefield. Mock combat seeks to simulate actually actual warfare as accurately as possible, but you failed to show significant growth this time around. That means today's training was far from the real thing. Sooner or later, though, you will face the final stage of my mock combat regimen, where I turn into a Super Saiyan and try to blow up the planet, and you have to stop me with spears. You can't even... You're not even going to top off my health, dude? That's shitty of you. Um... Oh, this is just where I was running from those guards earlier. I did not expect to find a park up here. Calaroco Volcano. <clears throat> All right. Where's Miki? Uh, 
Must be someone I'm not talking to out right here. You're the club Sega guy. What's a taxi doing here anyway? It was moving so damn fast. Do you have a second? I'd like to ask you about that taxi. What about it? Did you see which way it was headed? I think toward the hotel district. It went straight off that way. Got it. Thanks. Oh, I thought for sure that guy in the hood was going to start a fight with me. He was walking right at me. Okay. Uh, hotel district. I imagine this is, I gotta just say Hotel District, is it? No. But, um, I also imagine, so let's see. Oh, yeah, just straight up. Move! Hey, taxi man. Most exciting drive I've had in years. Makes this cigarette taste that much better. Excuse me. You picked up a young girl on Cinderio Avenue, right? Show sure enough. Made it over here in record time, too. Do you know where she went after she got out? Sure. Right into that hotel. She's probably at room 406. How do you know her room number? Well, the whole time she was in my cab, she kept muttering 406, 406 under her breath. Seemed pretty agitated. How careless of her. Okay, thanks. You've been a big help. Um. This hotel? Yeah. Is Miki Nishiyama, Nishiyama really in this hotel? Here it is, room 406. What mysteries await me within? Door's just unlocked. Cool. Is this some kind of joke? <clears throat> hey, honey, Akiyama caught up with us. What in the world? <laughs> Trying to sneak a peek, you perv? <laughs> Akiyama, what kind of a lame brain move is this? Barging in on my wife in the tub? You're the lame brain one. What the hell are you doing with my money? You swindled it out of me. And this is what you're doing with it. Come on, I've always wanted to wallow in a bathtub full of cash ever since I was a kid. You see it in the movies and stuff, right? That's right. You could probably count on one hand the number of people who've had this opportunity. You needed money so badly that you felt you had to scam me for it. I thought it had to be for something really important. I lend money to people who've hit rock bottom so I can watch them turn their lives around. And here you are. Using my money for this stupid bullshit. Our dream isn't bullshit. In fact, it's even worth killing for. Oh, I'm gonna have to beat the shit out of this pudgy old dude in his underwear. Oh no, he's gonna kick my ass, isn't he? Nope, guess not. <sighs> 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 
You're going to give me all the money back. Got it. Yes, sir. Please, take it with you. I still manage to make my dreams come true. All the stupid ways to use money. This really takes the cake. It's not as bad as all that. Say, how about a quick bath before you go? You've got to be kidding me. How about a souvenir? You've come all this way, after all. Got a gold plate. I can't even be angry anymore. Look, I'll send someone to retrieve the money. Until then, do whatever you please. Honestly, if you've wallowed in it at that point, just, um... Just keep it. Let's have a soak in oodles of cash. Hooray! Dad, you're the greatest! Oh, God. I love this game. Man. There are whole worlds out there I can't even begin to imagine. Guess I learned something today. Uh. <sighs> um, I'm not gonna worry about the gourmet reporter one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not worried about those three right now. Let's move on with the story. Otherwise, I'm going to play this game for the next five fucking years. Let's drop a save while we wander by this. Uh, oh, is, is this like a hotel, I take it? Um, batting Center. There we go, I'll save there. Ah, uh, let's shuffle around my items too. I think I probably got, yeah. Um, that can go, and that, and that, and... Free money. Man, he could have just sold that gold plate and wallowed in the money from that. That was a poor decision on his part. You! Stop right there! You've been carefully selected from a crowd of thousands. You're the one I'm gonna beat up today. Show your enthusiasm! You're strong! No more! Take this! I'm sorry, I have $5,000. I'm so fucking loaded right now. Um, I just realized I put all those items in here and didn't save the game. A poor decision on my part.
Hello, Mr. Akiyama. Hi there. I just stopped by to check on the club. How are things going? Remarkably well, given the state of the economy. Really? That's good to hear. But... But what? Well, it's Miki. What about her? Maybe you'd better ask her yourself. She's in today. All right. Have her come by the come to the dressing room. Mr. Akiyama? The manager said something was up. Is everything okay? Oh, I don't know. What is it? You can tell me. Probably didn't know this, but until recently I had a regular named Tanaguchi. Oh, God damn it, Irvine. No! <laughs> Tanaguchi? That's right. He was kind of a nerdy creep, but he wound up spending a lot of money on me. Five million yen. What? So you do know about him? Not really. Anyway, what about this Tanaguchi guy? Well, he suddenly stopped coming to the club. He never struck me as a particularly wealthy, so I just figured he finally ran out of money. And now that Tanaguchi's not coming around anymore, you're too devastated to concentrate on work, is that it? Absolutely not! I wouldn't shed any tears over one or two fewer nerdy types in here. Trust me. So what is it? I just saw that dorky Tanaguchi walking around looking like a million bucks! It's like he's had a major makeover! And what's worse, he had another hostess on his arm! He didn't stop coming because he ran out of money after all. He changed his image, made himself all cool, then dropped me for some other girl. But surely losing a single customer shouldn't bother you this much. It's a matter of pride. Oh, you really fucked this one up, Akiyama. Not me. I had nothing to do with that. You dressed him up like Cool Ranch Irvine. It's as though somebody told me I was a good match for the nerdiest customers. I've lost all faith in myself. Now that I think about it, a lot of my customers are kind of weird. That's not true. Fewer and fewer customers ask for me by name. Maybe it's time to throw in the towel. I have an idea. Why don't I give you a refresher course in hostessing to boost your confidence? Also, I'm going to dress you up like Keistus. <laughs> a refresher course? God, if I could just dress all the uh, hostesses and their uh, customers as Final Fantasy VIII characters? That would be the playthrough right there. Sure, after all, I'm the one who got you into this mess in the first place. Huh? Never mind. Anyway, hostesses need to make their customers fall for them hard. You know that, right? Right. From what I've seen, you have no problem entertaining customers in the club. So what am I missing? Are you getting dates after work? No, not really. There you go. What you need are dates. Consider them insurance. Your backup plan. You think so? You bet. Dates are different. It's just you and your customer, alone with each other. So how a hostess acts and the impression she makes is one of these special events has a big effect on her customer. I see. How about I give you some tips on how to make a customer fall head over heels for you? Yes, please. Excellent. Come with me. Yes, sir. Welcome, let me show you to your seats. Right this way, please. First, let's go over the basics of how to interact with the customer on a date. <clears throat> how do you interact with the customer on a date? Ho! Oh. Be more open. You should be more open and honest with a customer when you're on a date with them. Open and honest? That's right. Why do you think guys ask hostesses out on dates anyway? I'd say they want to get to know us better. Exactly. They want to get closer to you so they can stand out among all your other clients. That's why you should be a little more open with a man on a date than at the club. Okay. You'll think he's the only one who gets to see who you really are, which, he'll figure, makes him somebody pretty special. I get it now. Basically, by interacting with the customer in a different way on these pseudo-dates, he'll think it's not business anymore. Now it's personal. 
I understand completely. So what'll it be? Let's see. I'll have... Not so fast. There's a little trick when it comes to ordering, too. Oh, there is? Uh-huh. When it comes time to order... Ask for his favorite dish. When you go out to eat on a date, it's important to order your date's favorite dish. Really? When you see him at the club, get him to tell you his favorite in advance. Make sure you remember what it is. Then, when you're on your date, order it in a matter-of-fact way. Your favorite is such and such, isn't it? That will make him think, gee, Miki bothered to remember my favorite dish. And then he'll feel like you two have bonded. Okay. But the real key here is to add, I'd like that too while you're ordering. Why is that? For one thing, when your date says she likes the same food you do, it makes you happy. It also means you have similar values. I've accidentally wandered into a dating simulator. I can be a very picky person. You're a professional. Suck it up and pretend you like it. Oh, do I have to? I guess I'll try. Here you go. This looks delicious. Bon appetit. Not so fast. There's another technique that comes into play when eating your meal. There is? Tell me about it, because I evidently don't know how to do this job that I'm so good at. The thing to remember when eating is... When dining with a date, you have to maintain mealtime etiquette while creating an at-home atmosphere. At home? Really? That's right. A host is seen as the polar opposite of an at-home type. So by projecting this homey aura, you accentuate the gap between the two lifestyles. A hostess, who might seem a little distant at the club, comes across on a date as friendlier, more accessible. It's like you said before, you have to project a sense of intimacy. Exactly. So how do I do that? Let's see. If a dish uses seasonal ingredients, for example, point that out to your date. Or, if a meal is nicely presented, say you'd like to try recreating that arrangement at home. Play up the fact that you can cook. There's not a man alive who wouldn't fall for a woman who knows her way around a kitchen. Hmm, anything else? When your date eats something and says it's good, say, oh, so you like those flavors? I'll have to remember that. It's almost like saying, I'll make that for you sometime, isn't it? Yep. It's just the promise of your cooking, though. You don't have to go through with it. You only need to hint at the possibility. <laughs> I get it. This has been very educational. Thanks for the great meal, chef. We're ready for the bill now. Coming right up. Miki, don't forget to also pay the bill. Now, there's one thing I'd like to remember when it comes to paying the bill. Okay. The trick about paying the bill is... Take out your wallet. When dinner's over and the bill arrives, always take out your wallet and act like you're going to pay. You mean, put on an act? That's right. You're just pretending. Seeing you're prepared to pay like that transforms the eating from a customer-hostess interaction to a much more private, intimate meal. Your date will feel an even closer bond between the two of you. Plus, you'll be impressed that you know your manners. Ah, I see. Your date will insist you don't have to pay, of course, at which point you thank him and put away your wallet. That way, you're both satisfied with the outcome, and he keeps his pride intact. Got it. Dates provide another setting for building up a relationship formed at the club. Make the most of the situation of meeting outside the club, and you can project a sense of intimacy you can't create at work. Your customer will feel close to you, and he'll come to like you more and more. You've been so helpful. Oh my god, Mr. Akiyama. First he... He hated everything on the menu, and then he said the flavors all sucked, and then, when I pulled off my wallet to pay, he said awesome, and left. I've got my confidence back, thanks to you. I'm happy to hear that. I think I'll send that Taniguchi a message. What, right now? Uh-huh. I've got to get that newly hatched hunk away from that other hostess. Ah, well, 
I won't try to stop you. Oh no! What have you done? I'm glad you don't look like Irvine anymore, but what happened? Didn't you get a huge makeover? You heard about that? Guess Mr. Akiyama must have told you, huh? Mr. Akiyama? Oh no. No, no. Miki saw you walking around with your new look and another hostess. Oh, right. I did have more girls coming after me once I changed my image, but we never lasted longer than a date or two. I felt like I wasn't myself, like I was living a lie. I guess the best makeover in the world is still only skin deep. I eventually came to accept that this is the best style for me after all. No. That's when I got your message, Miki. And now here I am. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You must have missed me so badly. But I won't stray again. See you at the club. Oops. God, we're on the other side of town. Pardon me. I'm so sorry. Huh? You're... Come on, man! <laughs> oh, Mr. Akiyama! Oh, how, Shiobara? How? You don't see a guy for a while and he goes back to the simple life, eh? It was less than 12 hours ago, man! Yeah, well. So how are things? The rumor mill has been pretty quiet. On account of it only having been 12 hours since I last kicked your ass. Something like that. What's with the wishy-washy answers? Is your business on the rocks or what? I started a loan office in another part of town. Figured I'd follow in your footsteps for real this time. But I had so many bad customers that my cash reserves ran low in no time at all. I tried to recoup my losses by doing some day trading on the side, but that didn't work out either. Before I knew it, I was practically destitute. So that's why you look so glum. Buck up. After all, you were practically destitute when you first came to see me, right? And a damn sight more spirited, I might add. Full of that can-do attitude. Snap out of it, man. So what if you're back to square one? I didn't know anything back then. I was obsessed with achieving some grand feat, even though I hadn't accomplished a thing. Now things are different. I've tried it all and failed. So that's it. I'm hopeless. Man, what a drag. You're bumming me out over here. Look, I know you've been through a lot. But before you toss it all out the window, how about another one of my tests? Another test? Yep. If you pass, I'll give you another loan. No interest, no collateral. I mean, this is Shun Akiyama of Sky Finance you're talking to here. Shun, I guess. Shun? Shun? This is Akiyama. I doubt you'll get a better chance to really turn your life around. You're not going to ask me to rehab another company, are you? Because you don't want to let a guy like me anywhere near a struggling business. I wouldn't let you near a successful business, man. You're catching on. No, that kind of test wouldn't suit you at all these days. Besides, where's the fun in reruns? So, this time around, your test will be... This. A cigarette? What about it? A single cigarette. You have one hour to turn this into something valuable. I'll play too. But how do we determine value? Ah, I know. We'll ask at the pawn shop. If your item is judged more valuable, I'll lend you 100 million. What? <laughs> I, 
I can't even comprehend the words that are coming out of his mouth anymore. You have... This guy has literally failed four times now. I hope you keep your promises. Oh my god. Now you're talking. Okay, here's yours. Meet here in exactly one hour, not a minute later. Got it. Ready, set, go. Um... I just heard someone ask you about cigarettes. I'm very shocked. I study Japanese because I am in Japan, but many people don't speak Japanese. The Malaysia and Champion District is worse. Unbelievable. They never let me in because I speak the same language. Th thanks. Sure could use a smoke. Hey, mister. Got any smokes on you? I'll gladly take one if you do. A cigarette? Sure. Let me have one, would you? I just ran out. Sorry. I have one, but I can't just let you have it. Oh man. Why you gotta do me like that? It's just one lousy cigarette. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. I'd be happy to trade it to you for something, though. Anything. Huh? You serious? Hang on a sec. Maybe I got something. Like, how about this? What is that? Stomach ache medicine. I got a weak stomach. Hmm. Stomach ache medicine, eh? Alright. I'll trade you for that, then. Wow. Really? It's a deal. You got a light? Yeah, yeah. Stomach medicine. Ah, back from the dead. Say, mister, I hate to ask, but are you going to use that? You got the runs or something? No, I'm planning on making it into something worth, say, a million yen or so. What? Uh-oh. I'd better keep an eye on the time. See you. What a weirdo. I agree. I'm not going to make it. This is the worst day of my life. I should have just stayed home. Excuse me, is something wrong? Oh, uh, actually talking just makes it worse, and I'm not getting my hopes up, but do you have any stomach medicine by any chance? As a matter of fact, I do! What are the odds? <laughs> Please let me... Ah, I hate to come across as a meanie here, but I really can't give it to you for free. I'm so sorry. I'll pay. Oh, I'll pay. Before it's too late. No! Oh, uh oh Really, I'm sorry. Ack, how cruel. I feel bad for the guy, but there might be a better trade. Saw this guy over here with a green arrow on him. Let's see what you got, buddy. <laughs> just, just two guys bent over about to shit their pants in the middle of the road. Video games! Oh no, oh no, oh no. I can't hold it. My poor designer suit. The cleaning bills alone. Hello there, what's wrong? Oh, uh, oh, I know there's a one in a million chance of this, but do you happen to have any stomach medicine? Oh, please have some. Oh, you know what? I do. Are you serious? Can I have it? Oh, I feel bad saying it, but I can't let you have it for free. I'm afraid I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll pay. Oh, I'll pay. Please. You know what, though? No. I play video games. I know how this works. The fucking rich dude's not going to give me the best trait. Come on, man. You made those two guys that were going to shit themselves fade out of existence. They're basically dead now. Ironically, I'm going to make this guy shit himself.
I'm sorry. It was all one big misunderstanding. Thank you. Alright, so as I was saying, the rich dude is not going to give me the best trade. It's going to be the old dude who's about to shit his pants. Hey, buddy. Here you go. Here you go. Try this. Oh, I'm so happy to be alive. Heart. Sorry. I was a little distracted there. You have my thanks. No problem. Oops. Forgot to give you a token of my gratitude. That won't do now, will it? <laughs> it's not much, but I hope you'll take it. Oh, uh, well, I appreciate the sentiment. Could you give me something other than money? Hmm. Other than money. You're a rare bird. Let's see. What can I give you that's not money? I'm sorry to say these are about the extent of what I have to offer. What are they? Tickets to a concert my company put together. The orchestra puts on a fine performance. I don't know if you can make it there for today. What do you think? Yes, absolutely. That's wonderful. I'll gladly take those off your hands. So you're a classical buff. Well, wonders never cease. Indeed. Now, if you'll excuse me. Of course. Enjoy the concert. Just curious. Ah, uh, I was hoping the other guy would still be there. Uh, you're the heavy I just beat up. Hello, lady. Oh, you sure do look like you like those posters. How can I become a hostess? Oh, nope. You don't give a shit about orchestras. Um, and you would just let me into the club. Oi. Hey, man. I'm trying to scalp some tickets here. button. Well, the violence in this game is really something. Ten thousand yen. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. You probably want to be a hostess too, right? Playing pachinko. Ah, pachinko. Ah! Got shit to do, ladies. What about you, sir? Do you want to go to the orchestra? Uh, uh does the, um, sub story thing give me a clue? Nope. Where were the... Let's see. 
logically where I would need to go is... Square is where I should go. Cause where am I? No. Ah, Cause where am I now? I'm uh. Yeah, I'm by the tower. Theater Square. Let's try there. Hey, do you care about the orchestra, sir? Where the hell is Conrai? I've never been there before. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, you just care about the pachinko. Oh! It's a Yakuza. Like, I haven't beat up like 300 of you guys already. Game wouldn't even let me do it. Thank you for the drugs, sir. Uh, you look important. You want some opera tickets, buddy? Me chance getting married? That blows. Okay, cool. Man, I probably wandered way off base where I was supposed to go for this. Uh, in fact, because this is so obtuse, I'm going to, uh... I'm, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Just a little bit. Bottom of Tenkaichi Street. It's just down as far to the uh, left as I can go. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> Dude! I get it, you're pissed because you're no longer in charge of Nintendo. Come here, come here. Look, see this pole? Suplex sitting. Please take this. 
Stamina and Royale. Um, I am actually going to, because I've got a bunch of those now. I'm going to take that. Since Guile knocked my health down. Just to be safe. Um, and you got me all discombobulated. I need to be going this way and down. Right? Yes. Take a left here. Don't you start shit. I told you not to start shit, sir! I specifically requested you not start shit! Now you're here trying to start shit? No, sir. No, sir. Shame we can't keep those weapons. I would like to have a sword to run around with. Anyways, yeah, I told you not to start shit, dude. Give me that. Give me those drugs. Fucking asshole. Moving on. Oh my god. Oh my god, so much money. I'm gonna buy so many mermaid cut dresses when this is over with. the Yakuza who talk about Sky Finance. What? Oh my god, I'm gonna put these big hands all the way down your throat and then beat you to death with your own spine. Just trying to do a quest, man. Yeah, you better pay up. There we go. You look like you give a shit about opera tickets. Can't believe it. How could you forget our tickets? It's all very strange. If I told him Makita once, I told him a thousand times. As soon as we get back, he's fired. Who's Makita? My assistant! It was his job to put today's tickets in my breast pocket. Now I'm going to have to fire Tachigawa, too. His job was to tell Makita what his job was. You sure have a lot of assistance. What are you going to do about this? Because I'm going home. No. Wait. Tickets, eh? Could it be? Excuse me. Did you mean these tickets? Huh? Who are you? Listen, I'm a little busy at the... Ah! Look at those! Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Spooky. It's almost like I had a guide. I mean, that's beside the point. 
Please let me have those tickets. I beg of you. I'll pay you for them, of course. How much? I'm afraid I'm out of cash. Do you accept checks? Actually, uh, I'd prefer something besides money. What? Money's no good. It's a strange world, all right. It's not every day I meet interesting people like you. A fine encounter brought about by misfortune. How delightful! You may have this, then. Concert tickets for the business card. A business card? I think the tickets were a little more valuable than that. Trust me, just take it. Hmm. Mr. Amore Ginre Association President? What kind of association is this? Aha, you'll find out someday. You really saved my skin. Until we meet again. Aha, now, now. A lady must keep her cool. Shall we go to the concert? What about the tickets? Uh, he delivered them right on time. This is Oyama. It's his job to pick up the slack when Makita and Tachikawa drop the ball. How many assistants do you have, anyway? At least it worked out in the end. Thank you, Mr. Oyama. Don't mention it. Alright, anyone in my immediate vicinity who might want... You're new. Oh, no, you're not. You're the guy I beat up. Who might want a business card? Okay, so now I go to Theater Square. I hate having to use guides, but I'm not going to make you guys watch me spend like five hours fumbling around. You look regretful, sir. Damn it! There's got to be a way I can join the Ginray Association. Excuse me, did you just say Ginray Association? Yeah, I said it all right. What's it to you? Is it really that great? I pity you, commoners. The Ginray Association is a social club, open only to the creme de la creme. With the connections you can make in that club, you can expand your business beyond your wildest dreams. But they make it way too hard for new members to join, damn it! The Gin Who's It people let you join. You seem like you would be amply qualified. Clubs like this are incredibly exclusive. Existing members resist new applicants, no matter how deserving they may be. Damn it! All I need is that one lousy business card. Do you mean this business card? I don't have a card I can... Sorry. But how did you get that? That doesn't matter, does it? I'd be happy to let you have it. Are you sure? How much do you want for it? Why don't I trade it to you for something other than money? I'm not following. It's a long story. I see. Well, then, uh... Alright, how about I swap you this? Frankly, it doesn't even come close to value to that business card, but it's your call. It's up to the owner to decide how much the card is worth, don't you think? Doesn't mean much to me. Looks like we have a deal. Expensive looking watch. Okay. Still, are you sure? A deal is a deal, but I appreciate your honesty. I owe you one. Sure thing. Thanks. Hey, not to be blunt, but do you want to join my company? 
With a business card like this, I know you're definitely no ordinary man. Oh, sorry. I wish I could. Unfortunately, my hour is almost up. What do you mean, your hour? Important business awaits. Goodbye! Hey! That was cutting it close, so what'd you wind up with? I'm going to win! I just know it! Shall we get a ruling from the pawn shop, then? I'll go first. Okay. Let's see. Well, would you look at this? This is a fine article. Uh... Wait here a second. I'll take a closer look in back. Sorry. Didn't mean to leave you hanging. So? How much is it worth? Five million if it's worth a yen. Whoa. You mean if it were new, right? Don't want to give this guy a heart attack or anything. <laughs> Sorry about that. You don't see these too often. Guess I kind of got excited. Makes me wonder who this belonged to. Such a super high-priced item being used in such a casual way. It's real scratched up. It wasn't you, was it? Don't I wish. Well, knock off a little for that. If I were to buy this off you, I'd pay... 980,000... Wow. E! Hey, not bad. Now it's your turn. I still think I'm going to win. 980,000, was it? Then I still have a chance. Here's mine. Another watch, eh? Oh, -ho! another nice watch, to be precise. What have you guys been up to, anyway? Never mind that. Get on with the appraisal. All right, keep your shirt on. Give me a sec. Phew, seeing two of these marbles in a row, I can't help but break into a sweat. Well, if it was new, two million. And in this condition, 900 thou, exactly. And that's backed by 40 years of experience. No. So I won. You failed the test. Honestly, I didn't expect you to do this well. Don't. A loss is a loss. But I guess I did do pretty well, didn't I? You sure did. When it comes down to it, the trick is in fulfilling needs over and over against practically miraculous odds. In fact, it's pretty much the ideal sales model. By quickly feeling out the locals' needs and supplying just the right goods, you wound up with a very valuable prize in the end. I think your business sense is still pretty sharp. Is that what you were trying to test? One of the things, anyway. I don't get you, Mr. Akiyama. You act like you're just goofing around, then you zero in on something so profound. I can make a rhyme every time. You overestimate me. Mostly, I just say whatever comes to mind. No, you really are special. I'm glad I was able to do as well as I did against an opponent like you. Kind of feel like I could start over. I may be down, but I'm not out. I did all of this with a single cigarette, and I could do more. If I buy a whole pack of cigarettes, I can get a whole fleet of watches. There's that twinkle in your eye. Thank you, Mr. Akiyama. I know now that I was drawn back to this part of town because I wanted to see you again. Keep an eye on me. I just know I'm going to make it big again one day. I'm looking forward to it, too. Thanks. See you. Shiobara? Yes? Here. You forgot this. 
Oof. Did you have to throw it? I can't think of anything I've forgotten. Huh? But this is money. Yep. Five million, to be exact. But why? I lent you five million, and you insisted on returning ten million. I don't charge interest. Hasn't that sunk in yet? Which means that money is yours. Mr. Akiyama. Just promise me one thing. My customers never come back for seconds. Either they fail the test and leave angry, or they pass the test and change their lives forever. One of the two. It would be a disgrace if my apprentice wound up being my very first repeat customer. You got it. I'll do my very best. Later. Aw. I'm sure we'll see him again in 20 minutes when he's somehow blown $5 million on strippers and cocaine because he started a successful burger truck in, I don't know, Hiroshima. Wow, 10,000 experience points, huh? Damn. And another half a level, too. Significant. Oh my god, I got six points. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna go grab that wall crush. New ability. Oh. Now I know what they mean by the mastery thing. Uh, still got three points, so let's go with... Yeah, let's grab that dodge combo. And uh, I'm gonna grab that down taunt. Alright, story. Story, 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 story. I have to go check on Elise. I can't wait up. I've been trying to check on the same hostess for like six days now. Ah, <laughs> oh, the safety of my hostess club. Hi, I'm training Lily today. Is she in the back? Yes, sir. She's waiting in the back room. Before you go, here are the funds we can use for her training. I'm afraid you can't spend more than this. I suddenly have limited money? After all I've been through? It makes sense to keep this. All right, except for the club's operational finance. A hundred thousand. I'll also assign Naoki to assist you. How do you do? I'm Naoki. I'll help you in any way I can. That's great. Sounds good. Now then, let me show you to the back room. I, I, I know where the back room is, man. Come on. Please pick out an outfit for your hostess. You can choose different types of clothing, makeup, and other items. Oh my god. Oh no. Short rest period between each shift during this time. Oh no, it's... Oh no. <laughs> so let's see, we have. <clears throat> oh yeah. Um, charming off shoulder dress, halter dress, long halter dress. Mermaid dress, mini skirt dress, and layered dress. Um, I'm gonna go with the long halter dress. Makeup. No, oh, come on.
Oh my god. How far am I willing to take this? Oh, it's the main story mission. I shouldn't I shouldn't fuck with it too much. Which which is nice and simple, and then the next time we can do this to a girl that's not related to the uh, story mission, I'm gonna make her look like the Joker or something. His wings are sharp, girl. Uh, and then I'm going to give her some color contacts to match the eyeshadow. Oh no, I just saw it on my screen and it looks terrifying. I don't know. All right. Plenty of bang for the yen. Sweet little earrings. Project projects a refreshing image. Oh my god. Necklace. She's got the chain necklace on. Elegant necklace. Let me see with the chain necklace. Kind of going for a subtle thing. Oh my god. The rings. Pricey looking ring. A flower ring. Uh, she won't be wearing a ring yet. Watches. Oh, God. You know what? That would probably be... Sure. Save it. Sure. Save this. F I. Um. Oh, there's... Oh, okay. Too many characters. Okay. Uh, we can do this one, then. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Why do I exist?
That's why appearance C with B conversation. So wait, why is your appearance C? Is it because your makeup's like gnarly? Do we not? Are we not fans of the? Eye? Okay, so let, what if I get rid of that? Appearance C. Are they just saying she's like kind of homely looking? You know what? I I have forty thousand to blow still. That's too much. But if I go with does she need some blush? Is that what it is? Some nice rosy cheeks, and then um. the biggest goddamn eyelashes I can find. Black is fine. We don't need colored eyelashes. Does that change her appearance? Let's see. Okay, we're just gonna... I, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. Oh, this game keeps throwing me curveballs. Oh no, her stress has increased, but her motivation has gone up exactly. Similarly. Check parameters. Okay. Go to customers. Oh no. <laughs> Let's remind everybody this is a story mission. Looking good. <laughs> You're going ahead. Okay. Dress to match your customer's taste. First walk around the club, see what people want, then go to the back room and choose an outfit. I should walk around the club a bit. Lily isn't getting requested by anybody. Likes elegant girls. Don't suppose I have any conservative girls. Alright, so elegant or conservative. Alright, so I only have 45,000 left. So, I'm going for cons. Uh, okay, so I own everything when I buy it, too. Let's put her back in the mermaid dress. And then let's get rid of the... No, no, those are fine. Those are fine. Let's get rid of the eyeliner. Go with some nice... Eyeshadow. What constitutes elegant? How do girls work? She's like really pissed off for a second there. matching shade finished yes um 
What watches did I have? Oh my god, I turned into Sailor Moon! Motivation up! Um, flashy to gorgeous. Conservative has gone out the fucking window. Alright. Get some. Customers, I mean. Still not being requested. I'm gonna have to take this the other direction and go for conservative, I guess. Okay, so we need to go for conservative. Conservative? I don't fucking know. All right. We're gonna go the opposite direction. Nothing. Her natural beauty is all she needs, I guess. That one's fine. Um, no ring. Simple watch. No bracelet. Actually, what are the watches? No watch. Pearls. Conservative? Is that what the game considers conservative? Because, like, I. The game I already know thinks American Casual is Irvine from Final Fantasy VIII, so. Oh! Yeah, that's. That's conservative! that money. Fair number of customers requesting her. Conservative and refined. I love it. Why would we go to the back room? Let her make money.
Oh, oh my god, Lily, you turned into Naoki. Oh, wait a minute. I'll contact you later about the results. See you next time. She go see the owner of Marimba about that payment. It's over in the Champion District. Um... Oh, right, it's a story quest. There's a damn marker. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. Save now that I've made the most god awful creation ever seen in a hostess club. Nothing sexier than a guy who knows how to eat and is bursting with energy. Are you the kind of guy who eats well? Five methods in which you recover health after battle. Eat or drink at a restaurant or bar. Relax at facilities such as hot springs. Eat food items. Use recovery items. Or rest at a hideout. I'm not hitting you on any of your... Okay. You are a terrifying looking woman. There we go. Marimba. Hey, it's locked. Anybody home? It's Akiyama from Sky Finance. Ha. Huh. here. Guess I'll just have to come back later. Hmm? Drama Queen. Wait, this is that. Oh. Excuse me. You were checking that bar out. No, I wasn't. But what if I were? Oh, you naughty boy. Are you flirting with me? Drama queens. Yeah, nope. <laughs> you looked awfully interested. Just saying. I mean, not like I'm judging here. No, no, you got it all wrong. It's just, I know this girl who used to work here. Whatever. I'm in denial here too, honey. The manager here is delicious, but he's a hired hand. Totally hetero. He's only in the real girls. Wow, yeah, that's uh, that's a real shame. But forget him. Come have a drink at the place I work. I'll give you a stiff one on the house. <laughs> Maybe another night. Don't keep me waiting, sweetie. Drama. Mm. Lily said she worked there. Very strange. Boy, this game is about to take a turn, isn't it?
What the? Oh. Now that's not the turn I was expecting. He's dead. And it reeks in here. He must be a few days gone by now. Looks like the insignia for the Shibata family. So the bar's owner was affi affiliated with the Shibata family? The smell in here is awful. He must have been dead a few days now. Some lighters with the bar's name on it. They probably give them out free to customers. It's just like the one Lily had. It's a hell of a lot of blood. All dry now. probably all there is to see. I better get out of here before someone sees me. Trauma Queen's manager is dead. Murdered, and a few days ago by the look of it. He was half naked too. Just like Kido said Kanamura was when he found him. Was it the same killer? Someone from the Shibata family? You okay, honey? You look like you just saw a ghost. Oh, um, I'm fine. Come relax over at my bar. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm good. Well, see ya. Aw, oh, you're no fun. Go back to Sky Finance. Stick around here will only net me more trouble. Better get back to Sky Finance. I thought that was just a lady modeled to be incredibly muscular, not a gentleman modeled to be a lady. Oops. Um, oh yeah, all the way over. ちょっと花ちゃん、大変だよ。木戸さん、ごめんなさい。ちょっと買い物に行ってて。あ、すいません。勝手にお邪魔してます。社長、今ちょっと取り立ての仕事に出かけちゃってて。あ、でもそんなに長くはかからないと思うから待っててください。あ
すみませんけど帰ってもらえます社長も外出してますしそれでも用があるって言うんなら私が相手に危ない花ちゃん花ちゃん Sorry, Mr. I tried to stop them, but no, I should have been here to protect you. I should be the one apologizing. Was it those Shibata goons again? No, it was some guy named Mitorakawa from the Hatsushiba clan. Hatsushiba clan. That's right. And he said something about their boss and Shibata being really tight. That Mitorakawa really had a motor mouth. He kept telling me stuff I didn't even ask about. It seems the Hatsushiba clan was helping the Shibata family track down Kido. They're after Kido, too? Where is he, anyway? That's just it. Kido was here when they showed up. Midorikawa's men surrounded him and beat him into submission. Then they hauled him off to who knows where. They took Kido? He didn't stand a chance. He was completely outnumbered. Huh. Um... Mr. A? Oh, sorry. Just thinking about something. So they nabbed Kido. The question is why? No idea. Oh, but Midorikawa also stole our client registry. Sounded like that was one of the reasons I came here in the first place. Said something about borrowing it, but I seriously doubt we'll ever see it again. The client registry? What do they want that for? Who knows? I'm just worried about Kido. I'll be dropping by those Hatsushiba goons' place to collect on what they borrowed. Go get them, Mr. A. Just don't do anything crazy. I can't leave you like this. And what's with the cops? They didn't notice those goons busting in? Don't worry about me. I already called an ambulance on my cell. Yeah? <laughs> you really are on top of everything, aren't you? Well, sit tight. I'm gonna go get Kido and that registry back. Yes, sir. Chase Midorikawa. Let's look for leads on Midorikawa for now. I just saw a revelation making moment. Did you see those dangerous looking guys? I tell you, Kamaroko sure isn't a boring place. Dangerous guys. Maybe he's talking about Midorikawa. Hey, you. Wait up. Sorry, you got a minute? Sure, dude. My name is Mac. I'm a photographer. My work takes me all over the world. A photographer, eh? Interesting. I work as a money lender at Sky Finance right now. Right below, the name's Akiyama. I was wondering if you would tell me about that group of dangerous guys you just mentioned. Yeah. Sure, man. Some scary looking dudes were filling, filing down the street one after the other. I was sure something was about to go down. I was practically pissing in my pants, dude. Said something about a revelation making moment just now. Do you take photos of those kinds of incidents when they happen? Yep. I've been traveling around the world searching for the perfect picture. The best one I could possibly take. Best one? Akiyama, do you ever have any re realizations after seeing some sort of decisive moment or instance? Any realizations? Hmm. Not that I can remember. People call them revelations. Revelations? You mean people actually have those? That's exactly right. And I'm sure that those revelations are the key to me finding the best picture in the world. Revelations, eh? Note taken, but how about those dangerous guys you were talking about? Oh, yeah, you should keep an eye out to try to take the best picture you can as well. Well, I guess I'll look. But if you could just tell me about those guys you saw, I can be on my merry way. All right, then. Let's start our search. It'll be fun to look together. It's no use. Guess I'm just going to have to put up with this for a while. Perfect timing, dude. Have a look at that building over there. Ah, 
That girl, I got a feeling that something's about to happen. Use your cell phone camera to take a picture of the decisive instant when it occurs. My cell phone camera? Alright, I'll give it a try. Oh my god. I'm genuinely speechless. Oh. I totally forgot. <clears throat> uh, I saw them run down the stairs out into Tenkaichi Street, but I lost them after that. Tenkaichi Street, that's not too much of a lead, but I guess I should probably look for them anyways. Thanks for the info. Good luck, dude. We're gonna get Kido on that register back. I'm going to need to know where to look. Time to ask around about this Midorikawa guy. Looking for anyone new who may have information about what direction they went. So they're talking about me being in trouble. And they're always looking up. Oh man, I ain't got time for this shit. Yeah! 
Damn, I kicked that so hard it phased through reality. So now, uh, that's Tenkaichi Theater Taihei. So this is just Tenkaichi right here. Oh, there we go, Theater Square. Uh, strange Fruits men pass by would look like Yakuza. Yeah, they're over in Theater Square. Very big and very frightening. Uh, I guess they're... Are they just in Theater Square? Yep, that sure looks like story progression. Let me just shuffle some items around here. Um... People like that all the time in Kamaroko. They took a friend of mine. That's terrible. Now they mentioned a sucker group. Shady looking characters about two or three hours ago. Yeah, they look like Yakuza Dragon Man along with them. Look pretty beat up. Where are they now? Uh, they headed down past the lockers. There used to be an underground mall back there. Oh, I know where they took them. Yeah. Hey, buddy, you see some Yakuza come through here a bit ago? Yeah, those Hatsushima punks. I knew it. I need to get through here. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. Why not? The Hatsushima guys locked the door down below behind them. Pretty sturdy door, too. Shit, now what am I supposed to do? Relax, we hate those little shits. We'll give you whatever help we can. The underground area here is connected with the area under Millennium Tower. There's an elevator at the back of Millennium Tower that leads underground. You can reach the area under the theater through there. Great. Thanks. That was our spot before those Hatsushima snobs kicked us out. If you go kick their asses out, we can finally get our home back. Okay. No guarantees, but I'll give it my best shot. Alright. We have to go evict some people from under Millennium Tower. Um, I think I'm actually going to, because that sounds like a, that sounds like a pretty big mission. I will tackle that next time. I'm going to uh, call it a night here. It's getting pretty late. Well, it's always pretty late for me, but, uh, yeah. Um, definitely will be back streaming this on Friday night, so it's just gone Friday because I went and saw uh, Avengers. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the Fallout 4 episode. If you watched it, make sure you subscribe on YouTube That'll be going up on the YouTube channel tomorrow afternoon. These will be going up on YouTube throughout the week again as well. Thanks to everybody who came out and watched. I hope you enjoyed it. I, again, enjoyed playing it. This game is a fucking trip, and I love it. Thanks, everybody who came out. Y'all have a great night. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you.